Yo dudes and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today, we're starting a brand new series where I challenge myself to remake famous places within the world. For example, the Eiffel Tower, the Easter Island Heads, I don't know, the Great Wall of China, the Statue of Liberty. Today, we're gonna start it out with Easter Island. So first things first, I better hop into Blender and model out this head. And boom, Easter Island egg head thing. Oh, whoa, 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 pause. I got a little, a little issue back here, but there's nothing a little editing can't fix. All right, let's go into this side view. I, I must have like accidentally selected that. I don't know, we're about to figure out. Uh, we'll do control plus and move it down again. And it could be like a little bit back there. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but now I wanna go ahead and duplicate this. All right, and I'm gonna start working on a bit of like uh, corrosion. I do have this add-on called One Click Damage. Sometimes it's awesome, sometimes it's not. Uh, and the add-on is on the Blender Marketplace. If you guys wanna go get it, uh, it is a paid add-on though. So, you know, make sure if you, uh, oh gosh, don't crash, don't crash. Oh no, oh no, I don't wanna have to remodel this head. I should have saved it. I, I told you guys, it it's not, it's not always great. Oh, okay, it worked. Here's what I'm gonna do, Control S. All right, guys, the file is saved in case we end up crashing. Now, there's this, and we can go through any kind of things we want. I'm guessing it's going to take a little while each time and halfway crash. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to I'm just gonna let it go. But there's a bunch of different noise types you can pick. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to try clouds. It usually gives us a very weird look. Let's wait for Blender to get done crashing around a little bit. Come on, man. What if I uploaded this as a UGC? <laughs> like, this is a new head? Uh, it's probably already a thing. But as you can see, we now have some decent damage and we can of course change the amount, uh, which is really lagging my blender. I should probably optimize this mesh. Okay, if we don't crash, we're getting to optimization, guys. Cause that would probably help quite a bit. Uh, cancel? Please don't crash, please. All right, so we got it to 1,500, uh, and it looks horribly ugly, but it's all right. Now, we're gonna try once again for this little, uh, this make damage thing. It does add so many verts, faces, and everything. It's, it's not good for optimization, but it looks cool nonetheless. That last time, it added 600,000, which, bro, what are you gonna do with that? So we're gonna try make damage, give it 13 minutes to load, and see what happens. All right, so one click damage turned into a uh, one click no work, okay? So we're just gonna bring in our Easter Island head into Roblox Studio and start looking for a nice reference image and I'm guessing get onto the terrain. All right, so here's Studio and our terrain or our reference picture at least is right here. Very horrible quality, but nonetheless, we can see what we have. We've got a few heads, uh, looks to be four heads, rocks, a path right here along a hillside. So I think overall it shouldn't be too, too bad and we should be able to make it look pretty good. So first things first, let's bring in the island head. Roblox always declines my meshes first try, let's see. Let's see, yeah, unable to import, but you do the exact same thing over again, import, grab the same file, click it again, and it'll work this time. Roblox always just denies my stuff the first time. And if I do it again, they always accept it. Just like that. It's like, bro, why not just accept it the first try? But let's see. Let's bring the head right over to here. Oh yeah, that actually turned out pretty decent, man. Like that's not bad. I thought it was gonna look a lot worse. Let me put it that way. So let's make it sort of this gray color like so. We could definitely scale it down because I don't want the map to be like too, too massive. But these do need to be pretty big in comparison to a character. I also think I could scale it up some. I think that looks a lot better than the stubby version. But let's move this to the side and let's get on to the terrain. So plugins, part to terrain. We're gonna want grass, click on this, boom, we have grass. Now, we're gonna want to go to our terrain editor and just make some good hills. So we're gonna need to add, we are on the ball already. We can make that a little bigger. And we're just gonna kind of paint. I should have went grow instead of add, but uh, I think it'll be okay still. Make sure I get all these little like nooks like this. I'm just going for like the side of a mountain, you know? Get all these in, nice. Let me get the terrain painted on. 
And I'll be right back after I figure out what the next step we should do is. All right, that's decent. Let me go ahead and add some rock in the back as well. Uh, maybe not rock, uh, slate possibly. And I just want this to be like a big uh, background mountain. It's not really gonna affect anything for us. It's literally just a background piece. I'm gonna just put it like this. And then we're gonna go to our smooth tool, turn off our plane lock, size a little bigger, and we're just gonna smooth this out. So it looks more of a mountain instead of stacked Play-Doh. We're gonna do the same for all of this because we want it just a nice smooth hillside, not all this extra stuff. But as you can see, it just, it works so well. Oh, I'm so sorry, ground. I guess I'll stick to the layers and not do too, too much on the bottom. But uh, yeah, <laughs> my bad, ground. All right, we'll get that. Now our base size can definitely go down and we can focus down here without going through the ground, hopefully. All right, not bad. Let's go ahead and add on some rocks. We're gonna put this down to one, click our rock and just add some in random places. Make this look a little more like a mountain. We're gonna grab our paint tool and we need to make a little path. We're gonna do that out of sand, I suppose. We'll come down from up here, then down, work our way loop, and back that way. Cool for me. Definitely need to edit these colors. I could see the comments already. Bro, why is the grass so bright? I know, I know, I got it, I got it. We're gonna go something more along these lines. I think that looks a lot better. And then if we take a look back at our reference photo, which is actually yellow grass, but I don't think that'll look that good. So I'm not doing yellow grass. The mountain in the back is more of a brown. So let's paint some mud onto this mountain. And I'm gonna just do it in random spots so we can keep a lot of different stuff going on and it'll just add to the detail of it. So from like over here, I mean, it's still ugly, but it, it works. Now our main thing, is our Easter Island heads. Should we add these? Uh, we should probably change them from plastic and go to like a concrete and lighten them up. Something like this. Uh, I guess those are more of like a weathered brown. There we go, guys. I think that's actually a sick color. So I'm going to put some here. I'm just going to put a few of them around. Then I'm going to rotate them, put some in the ground, put some like out of the ground, you know, the normal, just to make it look very random and really cool. So let's put this one sort of in the ground. We'll rotate it back a little bit, rotate it this way, or I guess back like this. That that makes a little more sense, growing in with the ground. Cool, could definitely rotate this one. Perfect, tilt it this way maybe. Just trying to make sure all of them have a bit of differentness. I guess uniqueness is a better word. Making sure all of them are a little different than each other, guys. Just to assure I have an awesome little spot. But look at this. I think that's actually pretty sick. Like if we go to our, um, let me spawn in a character. There we go. Now guys, look at this. You have this path with heads all around. Path with heads all around. Yo, I'm down. So this one is weird because it's just terrain. But I have a feeling the huge scale buildings, for example, the Eiffel Tower and, uh, oh man, the Great Wall of China, like stuff where I can actually build and model instead of use terrain. I think it's going to look a lot better. But guys, place number one, Easter Island Heads is done. If you did enjoy this video and you do want to see this series, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.